We started with this paper cone. It's 11 inches tall. And you can get these from really any craft store. I believe we got it from Hobby Lobby. And you can also find them on Amazon. And then we took a nail about two inches long. And we're going to stick it through the top of the paper cone. It fit there nicely. And we have a styrofoam ball that we're going to stick on top of the nail. Next, we have this 35 by 22 inch cotton sheet. We get the fabric from Walmart and you're going to need a bowl and some stiffy, which is a fabric stiffener. We ordered ours off of Amazon and you want to dump some inside the bowl. You want to make sure you're wearing some gloves. This can get a little messy and you're just going to stick the cotton fabric inside of the stiffy fabric stiffener and you want to make sure you get enough of the fabric stiffener on the cotton sheet so you really want to submerge it and then you're just going to wring it out so as you take it out of the bowl I'm just wringing out all the extra fabric stiffener and then you're going to find the center of the fabric and you're going to lay it on top of your cone and I'm just folding around the bottom here and just tucking it under and at about the halfway point I'm making a crease and pulling those into the front And you're just going to fiddle with it. You want a nice base. The side flaps here are going to be arms. And we're going to take a piece of jute and we're just going to tie it where the top of the cone and the styrofoam ball meet. And just make a little knot and you can cut off any extra jute. Now the side flaps here I like to fold in and you can make them as short as you'd like. So I'm just folding the fabric underneath and then bending them inward so that they meet in the center. And again, you're just gonna really just mess with it. You want a nice base so it can stand when it dries. And once you're happy with the shape, you're gonna let that dry overnight. So now we have it dry and as you can see, the fabric is stiff, nice and hard. And this is going to be an angel. So now we're going to dress it up. And you can really dress it up however you'd like. And we are just going to show you how we add some hair to her. And first I'm going to take some of the Wise Owl Glaze Metallic Bronze. And I'm just going to lightly dry brush on top of the white cotton fabric. So the fabric stiffener makes the fabric rough and hard so we're just dry brushing on top of that so the metallic glaze is just grabbing in some areas and you can put as much or as little as this as you'd like and we're going to take some spanish moss we get this right from the dollar tree add some hot glue to the head and shape the spanish moss around the styrofoam ball and just fill it in leaving the front for her face empty. And then any extra long ones, you can just give her a little haircut. I hope you're able to follow along with what we're doing here. And next we took a smaller nail. It's about an inch long. And then we have some of this silver star ribbon. And we're going to use this as the halo. So you want to cut a pretty long piece and just wrap it around in a circle and leave about an inch hanging in the back. And then that you're going to wrap around the top of the nail. And then you're going to stick the nail into the top of the styrofoam ball. And now we have her halo. And next we're going to take some ribbon. It's a wired edged ribbon and we're just going to make a basic bow. 
leaving the ends long. We're going to use some floral wire to just wrap around the center and hold the bow together. And then we're going to bend the tails of the bow and make these her wings. And we're just going to hot glue it to the back of her. And you can take another nail or pin to secure it in place. You just want to push it upward so it goes into the styrofoam bowl. And then you can really just put anything on her. You can have anything hanging from her hands. We did one with a music sheet. In this one, we're just going to take this mini wreath. You can find these at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And we're just going to glue it so it looks like she's holding the wreath. And there you go. Now we have this angel that we made from some cotton fabric. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Other tutorials can be found on our webpage or on YouTube. And then we will show you some of the other ones that we made. Have a great day.